Distrobox is a way to create and manage containers that are integrated with the host computer. You can run programs inside the container that appear on the desktop of the host computer. Those applications can access your home directory on the host computer, allowing them to save files in your actual home directory and not inside the container. Distrobox uses either Docker or Podman as the underlying container management system. We're going to use Docker. If you don't already have Docker on your computer, you'll need to install it. Docker is available in the repositories of the major distributions. To install Docker on Ubuntu, use this command. On Fedora the command is I don't want to stay carrying this way that will never go away Are we falling deeper or are we just pretending would you stay with me if the world was ending Are we meant to be or are we second guessing would you stay On Manjaro you need to type On all distributions, you need to create a user group and add yourself to that group. This allows you to use Docker in a rootless fashion, which is more secure than giving Docker root access to your system. We create the group with group add command. Docker may have created the group for you. If that's the case, you'll be told it already exists. Either way, we need to add you to that group using the user mod command. You'll need to log in and out to activate your group membership. Installing Distrobox is even easier than installing Docker. On Ubuntu, the command to use is On Fedora, type the following command. On Manjaro, the syntax is We're now ready to create a container. This step requires an image file. 
The DistroBox command downloads the image for us, so we need to know the web address our image resides at. We can select the image we want to use from the list on the DistroBox website. The list is in alphabetical order by distribution name, starting at Alma Linux and finishing at Void Linux. Many distributions are available in several versions. Versions that have toolbox added to their name include a set of default programs. Those without toolbox are lightweight images. We're going to create an Arch Linux container. Copy the web address for the image you're going to use and paste it into the following command. We're using the distrobox create command to create a container. The I or image option tells distrobox which image to use. The N or name option sets a name for the container. It also becomes the host name for the virtual computer inside the container. You're prompted to download the image to your computer. Press Y and hit the Enter key.
When you return to the command prompt, use the distrobox enter command to launch and enter our new Arch Linux container. When you return to the command prompt, take a look at it. It'll say the name of the container you've created and entered. You're now inside an Arch Linux container. To prove a point, we'll use the Arch Package Manager, Pacman, to install NeoFetch. Running NeoFetch shows we're inside an instance of Arch Linux, running on a VirtualBox virtual machine that we know is running Ubuntu. We can install any application in our container, either from the Arch repositories or from the AUR, and run them on our host computer. If the world was Let's install and run an application inside our Arch container that uses a graphical interface. As soon as it is installed, we can type Firefox to launch the browser from our Arch Linux command prompt. We can also start the program from outside the container, from our host computer's command prompt. The T option suppresses the creation of a new terminal window. N or name command tells distrobox which container to look inside for the command. The end of arguments option is a flag that tells distrobox everything that follows is part of the command that should be launched. Opera is launched and runs on your desktop as though you had installed it on the host computer. To exit from a container, type exit and hit enter. You'll see the prompt return to that of your host computer. The container is still running though. If you want to shut down the container, use the stop command. You need to confirm that you really do want to stop the container. To see which containers you've created, use the list command. Color is used to highlight which containers are running and which are not. You can remove, as in delete, a container with the distrobox rm command. Because you can create as many containers as you wish, each of which can contain a different Linux distribution, and each container can contain any number of applications, the permutations are endless. <laughs>